Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. What I'm doing here is I'm going to demonstrate one of the things that you do before you turn on a machine when you first get it. You want to check to make sure that there's no coils burned out anywhere in the machine and under the play field that could uh, blow fuses or take out parts of the driver board. So before we even apply power to a machine we want to do some cursory checks. Now what I've already done is I've already kind of looked over the play field, looked for any loose wires, broken wires, uh, anything that looks out of place. Uh, this machine's a bit dirty. This is the earth shaker that we've been messing with. And I'm still not ready to turn it on yet, but I'm ready now to do a little check to make sure that all of the coils are okay. So I've got my trusty multimeter here. I've got it set up to ohms resistance. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the resistance across these coils here. And I'm going to use a few of them as examples. And uh, as you'll see, what we're supposed to get is a reading of uh, at least 2 to 3 ohms. Anything greater than that is going to indicate that the coil is okay. So what we do is we put our meter to resistance and uh, we put a lead on each of the coil. It really doesn't matter because um, it'll go in either direction. And we, we check it. You see we got 3.7 ohms there. So we know that coil is good. If, uh, if it was shorted you know we'd get something like that 0 0.2 or something like that. Um, that's what happens when we touch the leads together. You know. So you want to kind of run through the whole machine, check all the leads, make sure that the resistance is proper. If you run into one that you think is shorted, then what you have to do is uh, remove it, possibly cutting the leads off of it, and uh, check it without being wired into the machine. Sometimes some of these uh, have diodes running across them too, and it could be a diode that could be causing some problems. So you'll want to go through them all and uh, check to make sure that all the coils are good. That's uh, the next step in our survey of the machine prior to applying power to it. 